Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains, and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, I hope Santa was good to everybody this year. Um, so, here's where we are in the building. Um, as you can see, I've, I've added the roofs. I have the roofs all done. I did this over, over the last week. Uh, I didn't do a video for it because, well, it, it's not really very difficult and you all know you just follow the kit directions and everything gets put together all the roof sections all go together it's, it's this is the only one that had to be special just like the floor and I just cut this section out of the styrene sheet that I have glued it all together and we have a, a full sheet now and it all fits really well around it so that's it and you'll notice I haven't added these two walls in yet I have them. They're not painted yet. I mean, they're not glued on yet, and there's a reason for that. Um, inside of here, uh, this roof is off. What I want to do is I want to light this 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 whole thing, obviously, and I want to light this section here separate from the rest of it. But I don't want to light all the windows all the way around. There are five windows in here. There's one in the back, two and two in the front. I don't want to light all the windows. So I have to divide up the space inside and because the windows are large or large enough to, to see anything in, uh, I don't want to, normally what you would do is you would take a piece of styrene or cardboard and just run it from corner to corner and that's it and then you know you're done and it lights up one side or the other side whichever you're looking to light up but I see these windows are, are, are fairly large and I want to make sure that if you're looking in you're seeing something it doesn't have to be hugely detailed but you want to see something in there I don't want just a just a blank piece of styrene in there that you're gonna see it's, it's, it's not what I'm looking for so what I did was I cut the same styrene here, 60,000 styrene, and I cut the corners off one side, okay? Now this only covers a little more than half the building, so it comes just past this window right here on the inside. So it comes just past this window, so this fits in here sort of like this, so it comes back to here. Then I have this other piece of styrene, and this one is going to go on the back like this okay and these will sit down in and then there's a cleat that goes around here that the roof panel here sits on and this sidewall is made to go right up to the cleat on the inside I cut the right I measured the heights and this sits underneath it and this all gets glued in and then what I want to do I haven't done it yet, and I'm going to use that the uh, uh, model railroading, the software that I have to do the interiors, the same as I did on my HO train station. We're just going to change the scales to N and do the same thing. So, and then I'll cover. I'll put something along along this wall here. We'll do this wall right here, and then I'll go this wall inside of here. So we'll do this wall, probably just this back wall, and this side wall right here. So it'll be two walls. So when you look in, at least there's something in there. You, you know what I mean? It's not just blank, dead plastic walls. There's something to be seen. It doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be fancy. It just needs to be something with a little bit of color, something you can see. And then I may, I may glue in a couple of um, figures inside there that look like they're doing something. And then... As far as the lighting goes, in this office building, this office part here, whether it's the office or it's part of a machine shop kind of a thing, um, I'm going to light this with incandescent bulbs, it's very small, the little wheat bulbs, because I like the lighting for these kind of areas better. It's, it's that yellow, warm, white light that goes in here. Uh, and I'm only going to light one, two, three windows. The front two are going to stay dark. That's why we're going like this. Uh, so that's how I'm going to do this, and then once all that's done, I get the, this part on, then I can glue the roof in and put these, these walls on to stay. And that'll be that, and then that section will be done. I haven't even put the glass in yet into these windows, any of it, 
because I'm still working on the weathering and I don't know if you can tell but these walls here have been weathered to some extent you can see the difference in maybe you can see the difference this is this one has not been weathered and the other has so it, it's quite a bit lighter uh, now the next part I'm gonna get into so we'll take off this roof. This is the big roof that I that I had to build. Okay. Now in here, more useless details. I know, uh, but I feel like that's what I want to do, um, and I'm doing it because I can. So here's what's going to happen. These two windows, right here and right here. There are two small windows. Now those came out of a DPM kit. I cut them out and they're house window size. So that tells me if I was on the outside that there would be some sort of an office up there. And when you're looking in through the back windows, you can see that. You can see everything in the front here, okay? And I don't really like that because from this, this side, it looks like there should be an office up there, but looking through the back, there's nothing there. The windows are just hanging. So what I'm going to do with that, and I've already started it, I took more of the styrene that I have and I built this little box, three-sided box, okay, and this is going to be the office, and then I have this part out here, this is a platform, and I'm going to build a staircase from this down to the floor. So this sits in here like this, this goes behind here, and this sits right in there, and it goes even to the beam here, and that is our office okay now I'm gonna light this office with incandescent bulbs as well same as this other part of the building so that the lighting office lighting matches the rest of the building and that'll go just like that and then the same with the as I'm doing in the other part over here is I'm gonna do the uh, printed backgrounds on the you know looking through the front windows I probably only need to do the back wall here just this back wall would be enough I don't need to get crazy on the sides I don't have to do a floor I don't have to do any of that stuff and then I need to do one for this back side that faces the back of the machine shop so when you're looking through you can see something here and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print something really simple solid wall with maybe a, a window in it and a doorway they don't need to be cut out it doesn't need to get crazy like that they just need to represent that so when you're looking through there you see something okay and that takes care of that now this needs a stair stairway to get up there because obviously it's up off the ground and what I have is I have this styrene here this is styrene strip I've got and it's 40 thousandths thick it's it's a little thinner than the, what I actually did to build the walls with and what I did, I've, I've started cutting some of the parts. So this is in here, I measured up, once this is in place, like this, I stuck it in place, I measured the distance in there from here to the ground and an inch out, okay? And what I came up with was pieces like this. So it's cut at angles, and, and I got those angles, in case you're wondering. These cutting mats are a wonderful thing. Um, when you look at the cutting mat, it has all the measurements on it, okay? So it's 7 eighths of an inch high is what I'm looking for. So that's a straight line out to, to line up with the platform. So I went with that, and then I brought this down so that it goes flat wherever it is lines up on the bottom line at an inch out so we're going like this at an inch so it's like that I met, drew a line across here and a line across here and I just cut it off and then I'll repeat this for for another side of it okay so now I have two pieces that are cut like this with angles okay so this goes like this and then I'll use more of this strip and I'll cut lengths off all the same length and we'll glue on pieces here all the way up 
and then we'll take the other piece as a cap on top of that and then that whole thing will get glued to the front of this so it goes flat to the floor and just like that right in here just like this all right right up even to the top of the floor and that's our staircase all right it's 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 heavier than you know probably you really need being end scale but it's what I have and it's 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 easy to work with I don't want to get too small because my eyes don't cooperate with that stuff and then obviously we're gonna need a railing on that so let me back this up just a touch so the railing I have this styrene here these are little square lengths of uh, styrene rod there, there's it's square stock it's not round but in the application where we're putting it square round it doesn't matter nobody's ever gonna know the difference you can't really tell so once this is in like this I can take this styrene I'm gonna cut the lengths that I need and then this is gonna get glued on like this straight up across on both sides and then once those are all glued on and dried then I can put a cap of the same rail right down the whole length of it like that so then this will look something like you have more of this and you'll have these upper pieces going across like that and that's that's how that's going to go and then the same thing will happen on this piece here so we'll do the uprights same height as i did the staircase these will get glued on across here and then down this side and then once those are all on then I can put a cap across the top like this and just match it right around the corner and it'll tie into this to rail that goes down the stairs and that's that the rest of this building has to still get weathered so I've started it I can't finish the glass until the whole building is weathered um, so let's look at that a little bit before we end this video so what you have here if you remember we filled in these windows here with other brick pattern and the story of the building was that the, the uh, roundhouse was built before the machine shop so they're going to be at different levels of fade and weather and dirt and all and the machine shops newer than the roundhouse so what I did was I taped over each of these and the one in the back here okay I taped over that and then I sprayed took the airbrush out and I sprayed just this roundhouse part first I did maybe four or five coats and and here's the difference how you can see where it is so this is the actual color and then this is what we're faded down to okay it's quite a bit of difference um, and then once I did four or five coats on the roundhouse I peeled off all the tape and then I went back through the whole thing and I did another couple coats on the whole roundhouse and machine shop the whole thing so when you're looking at the back they're not the same fade level so I'm trying I'm getting that effect that the brick on the machine shop is newer than the brick on the roundhouse so you can kind of see that there but it is faded it's not the same as the you know the original wall and that's what we're looking for so the next step in the weathering of this and I'm gonna do this in the next video I'll just do a quick thing about it but I have to darken up some areas now I've already started with the smokestack that goes on the building right here so here's the smokestack and I've already started weathering and darkening that up so that's what that looks like now I have to do some of that with the rest of the building so that didn't come out too bad I'm, I'm happy with it I've weathered the brick and then darkened up the top now that dark on the top we have to carry that over to some more areas in the rest of the building um, 
So that's what the windows are waiting on. As soon as I get all of that done, then I can put the windows in. We can finish up with these office parts and things like that. Add the lighting and then I can button up the whole building and be done. Um, the only other thing, and I wanted to address this, I didn't get a chance to, uh, to, to respond in the comments, but someone had mentioned that if this were a real building, I don't have enough roof supports in here and the roof would collapse. And well, you're absolutely right, it would. Um, fortunately for me, it's not a real building and I don't have to worry about that. I don't have code and building codes and things like that to worry about. So I'm not gonna worry about it. But what I did add, and this was before the comment came, but I, I added because this wall right here was just cut off and I didn't like the way that looked. And when you looked in through the, the roundhouse side, when you looked in through these bays here, you could see this wall. It was just cut off and there was nothing to it. So what I have for that is I had some I-beam that I left over from something else I was building. And I had some of this I-beam, which is surprisingly enough, almost the exact same as what the I-beam is for this. So I just took a piece and I glued that across the top and then I took some round styrene and I made some columns. So now that looks a little more finished and it makes more sense when you're peeking in from the inside. I'm not gonna add more of these across here. It really doesn't make any sense to do that because you're not gonna see them. The roof's gonna go on and it's all gonna disappear. Um, I thought about it, I really did, until I put the roof on and then I totally changed my mind because it's, it's just a waste of, of styrene and it's a waste of time to wanna put more of this in there. I mean, I have the material, I can do it, but it really doesn't make any sense to wanna do that. If you can't see it, why bother? So the only thing that I may do, and this is only because you can see it from the other end. Um, let me back this up. Now, this office building here, this office that's going in the building over here, what I may do is take some of this I-beam and just run it right underneath this and follow this all the way around and then put a couple columns underneath to hold this up. And, and I think that's gonna be it. So that when you're looking through the back of the building here, through these windows, you're looking in and you'll see the I-beam and the columns, you'll see this whole thing here. And it'll all kind of make sense, but you won't be able to see anything else as far as you know these coming across in here like this. You know, like I, said, I could do it, but it really doesn't make any sense to add these in there because there should be another one here, should be another one here, another one here, another one here, and then columns to support, you know, all of that throughout the whole thing. And it's just, I, I just don't see the point in doing it. If it were gonna be open to the outside, absolutely I would add it in there, but it's really not worth the trouble. If you're interested in weathering, um, Stay tuned till next week. Watch next week. I'm going to show you how I did all of this weathering effects because I also have to match these front, these two walls here, this wall and this wall because these have not been weathered yet. So they, I have to make them match the rest of the, the, the rest of the walls. So those have to get painted the same. And then I also want to add some black weathering to the white windows and the white parts in the front of the building, all that white there, I wanna darken that up. Um, and the same in the back, I'm gonna darken that up. So if you're interested in any of that, tune in next week and I'll, I'll, I'll give you a, a, a look at what's going on with that. Um, the only other thing that I have going on is, you can see I have the roof, and that's all on. These are not glued in yet. These all lift out. Once I get all the weathering done and the building is 100% done, the windows are in, because I can't glue these in until the windows, until the windows go on, um, that'll get done after, the, after the, uh, the weathering. But this top roof here, I am not gonna glue on. Um, it's gonna stay loose. I wanna be able to lift it off 
if something happens to get stuck in there, uh, I want to be able to get in there and be able to get it out. Uh, I thought about gluing these in, and then it just it just hit me one day, you know, as I was building these these parts here, and I got it all on there, and I, I started thinking, what would happen if something got stuck in there? How would I get it out? Uh, I, I don't want to play that game with this, so this stays removable. This section and this section are getting glued in. And that's going to stay like that. So there you go. That is what's going on for this week. And there we go. So that's it. That's all I got for you. Um, so anyway, Happy New Year and uh, Merry Christmas and stay safe and hope everybody has a great holiday. And we'll talk to you next time. Happy modeling.